hello guys this is Les Daniel and I want to quickly give a brief about research proposal yes so we are going to look at research proposal now when do we write a research proposal so we mostly write a research proposal when we are in our final years doing our degree programs yeah and also um, maybe even in diploma yeah and um, when you're applying for a PhD program yeah so that's when we um, write a research proposal so why would they ask you to write a research proposal what is the relevance okay so the purpose of the research proposal is um, basically for the committee we have a research committee and in KUSD it's the the CHEPRI, the CHEPRI, C-H-P-R-E, yes, that's the research committee. It's basically for them to see whether your research is not harmful, your research is suitable, your research um, actually will be helpful, it's going to fill a gap in the other research that they've come about. I hope you get me. Okay, so now we are moving on to what is a research proposal. Now, before I go into this, um, I will acknowledge or I will recommend that um, you do your research proposal yourself. You don't go paying people to write a research proposal for you. Yes, because um, it will bite you back um, a time to come when you're actually applying for, let's say, um, a PhD program yes so try and do this yourself okay now a research proposal is, is just a document maybe three thousand words or five thousand words okay that's going to explain what you plan to research so what are you going to research about that's a research topic and why is that research worth researching so it will include your justification and how you plan to do the research so these three basic three things so you have what it entails why it's worth researching and how you are going to go about the research so just a document that will include these vital things these vital things so this is um, a research proposal in its simplest form or simplest explanation it doesn't mean you are not going to do any work there is actual work to be done here but if someone asks you that's it it's just a simple structured document that will tell you the what the research is about the why you are researching and how you are going to research I hope it's clear okay so since you are going to write to a committee a research committee or to your supervisor your research proposal needs to be convinced you have to convince them why they should allow you to do the research so um, that's where you need your grammar skills your comprehension um, ability so your research proposal needs to be very convincing so that they will allow you to actually um, do the research to actually do the research because there are instances where um, your supervisor will reject your research proposal yes yeah, simply because it wasn't convincing enough yeah so make sure it's convincing make sure it's convincing now I'll take you through I'll, at the end of the video I'll ask whether I should actually take you through those um step by step so that you actually get how to write a research proposal yourself so that you don't pay for someone to actually do for you so that's pretty much it for um a research proposal so what will what entails or what is included in a research proposal so you first need your research topic and the research topic should be very specific and easy to understand so this was my research topic with my research partners so we worked on knowledge attitude and 
perception yeah i wrote practices for this one but it was actually perception for hours okay of COVID 19 among um final year in college of health sciences knusd as you can see the research topic here is very specific it entails what we want from the people we want their knowledge background on COVID 19 their attitude towards COVID 19 and their practices and their practices okay and also i've talked about the category of people i want so who am i actually going to um run my research on so the final year student in college of health science knusd so that's how specific your research topic should be what you entail to achieve or what you um, at the end of the day you want to achieve and the people you are working on the people you are working on their location so that's an example of um, the research topic the research topic so let's move ahead to um, how to justify the topic that you've chosen so justification is giving reasons as to why the committee should allow you or give you the permit to do your research to do your research okay so mostly when we talk about justification all we need is how your research is going to fill the gap in that particular field or that particular area that you are researching on I don't know if you get me so let's say someone has done a research on um, malaria treatment there are artemisinin based therapy etc you shouldn't go and be also talking about the same treatment because someone has done that research already but what you can do differently for your um, proposal to be accepted is that since someone has talked about the treatment you can talk about the side effect so that's a gap so there is something that is missing that your research is going to provide or is going to fail so that's what we mean by filling in the gap okay we can you can also use this approach um, how the person did his research let's say it was a cross-sectional research design you can do yours a longitudinal research design Maybe it was a qualitative research, you can do yours quantitative or trying to fill the gap or trying to fill the gap. I hope it's clear. Okay, so your research proposal, you'll be talking about whether it's qualitative or quantitative. Um, I'll try and give you the outline. I'll try and give you the outline. And if possibly, um, try and um, explain the outline to you, yeah, so that you get it. I know we all did research methods, yeah, and we were not really familiar with these things at that time. Yes, but as you go higher in your education, you get to understand certain things. Okay, so it will the proposal will actually determine whether the research that you are doing is qualitative or quantitative whether it's a cross-sectional i I hope you know qualitative and quantitative yes whether it's cross-sectional or longitudinal design cross-sectional taking data at a particular point in time yes and your data collection whether it's a survey a questionnaire or an interview yes and you should know when um you are doing a qualitative research um, you are most likely going to use an interview and when you are doing a quantitative you are most likely going to use a questionnaire so you should um, actually um, know these stuff and also how you are going to analyze your data whether you are going to use um, a statistical way or method or approach that's what we normally use here so that's what we use as um, undergrads yes and possibly there is also a qualitative um, um, method of 
data analysis yes that you can also go by okay so this brings me to the end of um what a research proposal is and it has been next daniel and just as i said my next video will be on the outline of um, a research proposal yes yeah, so i'll get you the outline on my next video stay blessed bye